Hey there! This is MathCamp321 presenting a short video on synthetic division in four examples. What is synthetic division, you might ask? Well, synthetic division is a division shortcut that can be used when a polynomial is divided by a linear binomial. That is, a binomial in the form of mx plus b. Usually m, or the slope, is equal to positive 1. But I will show you how to do synthetic division even if the slope is not positive 1. And those examples will occur on the next slide. So to start, let's take a look at number 1. Divide the polynomial 4x to the 4th plus 10x cubed minus 7x squared minus x plus 11 by the divisor x plus 3. Let's first just take note of the divisor and that the divisor is linear. If I were to graph y equals x plus 3, it would look like a line. And that condition has to be met before I can even use this shortcut called synthetic division. But since it is, we know that it's a candidate and I can go forward. So the first part of synthetic division is to take the divisor and set it equal to zero and then solve for x in that little equation that you formed. So watch this. Okay, that value negative three is very important in our synthetic division. This value is going to be placed in the upper left of this array of numbers that we're going to make. So I'm going to place negative 3 in the upper left, and I'm going to place it in what I call a cubby. Now, there are going to be more numbers on that same row, and those numbers are going to come from the coefficients of the polynomial itself, the dividend. So I'm going to start with 4, and then write down 10, negative 7, negative 1, and 11. And just to be sure you know where those values are coming from, it's up here in the dividend. Okay, so let me write those down. Now you'll notice I've drawn a horizontal line, but I've drawn it far enough down to leave room for another row of numbers. And that row of numbers is going to be important, so make sure you leave room for this second row. Now when you're doing synthetic division, the first number of the, the first coefficient of the dividend, in this case 4, is just going to drop straight down. Now, synthetic division is a combination of multiplying and adding, multiplying and adding, multiplying and adding. So I'm going to start by multiplying negative 3 times 4, which is negative 12, and I'm going to write that result here. Well, now I'm going to add 10 and negative 12 is negative 2, and I'm going to write that result right below negative 12. And now I'm going to multiply again. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6, and I'm going to write that here under the negative 7. And now I'm going to add negative 7 and 6 and I get negative 1. And now I'm going to multiply negative 3 times negative 1 and I get 3. And then I add negative 1 and 3 and I get 2. And then I multiply negative 3 times 2 and I get negative 6. And then I add 11 and negative 6 and I get 5. And this last value, I like to put that in a cubby as well. That last value represents the remainder. The next thing we have to do is interpret that bottom row of synthetic division and convert it back into a polynomial. You can't just say that the answer to this is 4, negative 2, negative 1, 2, cubby 5. That would be ridiculous. So what we need to do is convert this back into a polynomial. And the rule of thumb is that whatever the degree of the dividend is, the polynomial will start with a degree that is 1 less. So our original polynomial started with a degree of 4, 4x four to the 4th. That means our answer is going to start with x to the 3rd. So my answer is going to be 4x to the 3rd minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. This 5 is our remainder. And we like to usually express division questions by putting the remainder over the divisor. So here is our synthetic division answer. 4x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2 plus 5 over x plus 3. And again, just take note of the fact that the degree of our answer was one less than the degree of the original dividend. That's something always to look out for when you're doing synthetic division. Let's try another example. Number 2 says to divide x to the 4th minus 5x to the 10th plus 7 by x minus 2. Let's start by setting the divisor equal to 0 and solving that little equation for x. Okay, we got an answer of 2, and that value is going to go inside of a cubby on the upper left side. Now, I'm going to construct my array of numbers that form the top row, but there's something very, very important that I need to say, and that is 
you need to include placeholders for any gaps in your descending exponential order. You'll notice that our dividend starts with x to the fourth, but there's no x cubed. Then it goes to x squared, but there's no x. So we need to have two placeholders to account for those positions. So I'm going to write down my first coefficient, which is 1, followed by 0, which is a placeholder, then negative 5, then 0, which is another placeholder, and then 7. I draw my horizontal line, leaving enough room for the second and third row. And remember that in synthetic division, the first term is going to drop down. Also remember that synthetic division is multiplying, adding, multiplying, adding, multiplying, adding, until you get all the way to the end of the row. So we're going to start with multiplying. 2 times 1 is, is 2. And then I'm going to add. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And 7 minus 4 is 3. And again, I like to put that last value in its own cubby. That last value is the remainder. Now, let's interpret our bottom row of synthetic division. Since our initial dividend was of degree 4, I know that my answer is going to be of degree 3. So we start with 1x cubed, or just x cubed, plus 2x squared, minus x, minus 2, there is a remainder, plus 3 over our divisor, which was x minus 2. So on this slide, I've given you two examples of synthetic division, one which did not require placeholders, and one which did require placeholders. And that is the most commonly missed thing on a quiz, is that students overlook needing to put placeholders in. So make sure your dividend is in descending exponential order, and if it's not, you need to put placeholders in for those missing terms. So on this slide, I've got two more examples of synthetic division, but this time the divisor uh, has a slope of something that's other than positive 1. So I'm going to show you how to deal with that. There's a couple ways of doing it, but this is the way that I'm going to show you. I'm going to start by factoring out whatever it takes to make that slope positive 1. So in number 3, I'm going to factor out a negative. Since I took a negative out of the denominator, I also have to take a negative out of the numerator. Now, by taking the same thing out of the top and the bottom, is going to allow me to cancel those things out. So think about there being a negative 1 on the top and a negative 1 on the bottom that's been removed. So I'm going to cancel those out. Now I'm going to do synthetic division on the remaining question or the remaining problem that's left over. So I'll start by setting the divisor equal to 0 and solving for x. So I'm going to take that value 4 and I'm going to write it in the cubby. And I'm going to write my coefficients along the top row. So they're going to be negative 1, negative 2, positive 3, and positive 4. And no, I don't need any placeholders here because all of my terms are accounted for. The first term is going to drop down. I'm going to start by multiplying 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. I'm going to add, which would be negative 6. I multiply 4 and negative 6, which is negative 24. I add, which will give me negative 21. I multiply, which will give me negative 84. And then I'll add, which will give me negative 80. And I like to put that final value in its own cubby. And I'm going to interpret my answer, remembering that the degree of the answer will be 1 less than the degree of the dividend. The degree of the dividend was 3, so the degree of my answer is going to be 2, or, or squared. So negative x squared minus 6x minus 21 plus negative 80 over the divisor we used for our question, which means I'm going to look up here. That's the divisor we used, x minus 4. And there you have it. That's how you deal with a divisor that has a slope of something other than 1. Let's do one more example and then we'll be done. In number 4, the slope of the divisor is 2. So I'm going to have to factor out a 2. Now, whatever I factor out of the bottom, I have to factor the same thing out of the top. So I'm going to take a 2 out of the top as well. Now, the 2 on the top and the 2 on the bottom, they're going to cancel out. So I'm going to do synthetic division on this remaining problem. What do you think is going to go in the cubby? If you guessed 1 half, you're correct. Now, I think this is the first example that we've had a fraction in the cubby, but that's okay. It, it can happen. 
And now I'm going to assess the top row, which I believe will be 4, negative 6, 3, and 1, and no placeholders will be necessary. The first term is going to drop down. I'm going to start by multiplying. Well, 1 half of 4 is 2. I'll add and I'll get negative 4. I'll multiply and I'll get negative 2. I'll add and I get 1. I'll multiply and I'll get a half. And 1 and a half is the same as 3 halves. And I like to put that final result in its own cubby. And now we have to interpret our answer, remembering that the degree of the answer will be one less than that of the dividend. So the dividend was of degree 3, so our answer will be of degree 2. So we'll start with 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 plus 3 halves over the divisor that we use, which is x minus a half. And again, I'm getting that from up here. Now, we don't want to leave a remainder that looks complex like that, so let me show you a very quick, to fi quick way to fix that, and then we'll be done. I'm going to partition this whole thing off with grouping symbols, and I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2. The number that I took out in the beginning, up here, I'm essentially going to be putting that back in. So I took a 2 out, and now I'm going to put it back in. So I'm going to end up with 4x squared minus 4x plus 1, and the top is going to be 3 halves times 2, which is 3. And the bottom is going to be 2x minus 1. So there you have it. Four examples of synthetic division. A division shortcut used when dividing by a linear binomial.